I never thought I would say this, but I am 100% through and through a Kindle girly, for sure. There's no doubt anymore. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am so glad you are here. I also want to say thank you guys so much for 2,000 subscribers. I'm literally so shocked. Like, it is literally a dream come true. I think I've, like, started YouTube, like, five times, and I finally stuck with it, and I... I'm just so glad you're here, and we get to talk about books, and you love books, I love books. We just love it all. So, I just wanted to say thank you, and I love you guys so much. But in today's video, I want to talk all about my Kindle, and I'm so excited because I used to be a hardcore, like, book fanatic. Only books. I only want to read out of books. I want the experience of reading a book. And then I got this for vacation, and I haven't turned back at all and so I got this one last year in 2022 it is just the Kindle Paperwhite I highly recommend they're always on sale so definitely look out for those because it's always like during Amazon Prime Day the holidays like any of that they're gonna be there so I wouldn't buy it full price but that's just my opinion if sometimes like I'm impulsive so I totally understand if you want to go ahead and just buy it right away but they do have sales all the time even Target has has them and that's where I bought mine was Target so I would just wait for that I do have like this little pop socket on here just for like decorations it's the only like decal I have on it I will recommend you purchasing like a clear silicone case with it and a screen protector when you buy this because the screen is super super sensitive and even if you are the most gentle person you're like oh no I can do this like there's no there's gonna be scratches I 100% promise you that but thankfully like I don't really notice the scratches on here but there are some really bad scratches so i would just recommend those three items when purchasing your kindle i also will note that it has an option of purchasing your kindle with or without ads i will say i know a lot of people end up just asking amazon to take them down because they have like this this is an ad and it has a man on it sometimes there's like children around or like they bring it to school to read during their lunch breaks or at work or a hospital or whatever so you can just ask Amazon to take them down because of things like this and they will do it for free so there's that option as well and then I have Kindle Unlimited that's how I read a lot of my books and you can either I think you can purchase books through Kindle Unlimited but most of them are free you just like rent them out you have a max of 20 books I believe that you can rent out at a time which I feel like is a decent amount and you do have to return them so you can't like keep them forever but I love that they have just such a variety of books one thing I love is like if I want to read a really popular book talk book it's usually on there and if I don't like it I don't like it and I can just go on to the next one whereas like if I buy a physical copy now I have to like see that on my shelf all the time so it's just one of the like a pro to having Kindle Unlimited is just being able to move on to the next one without feeling bad that you spent like $15 on a book you'll never read or finish so I love Kindle Unlimited it used to be $9.99 but now it has gone to $11.99 which is not my favorite I feel like $10 is like perfect for it but $11.99 is still also very very I feel like doable because if you read multiple books through Kindle Unlimited and that will like be worthwhile because like each book is like $15 so I feel like it's a good investment overall especially if you read a lot and then you can also just buy books on Amazon and put them on your Kindle and they'll be in your library forever which is awesome your Kindle your like actual physical Kindle has a certain amount of storage so I got the 8 which I I've heard is like 
plenty like you can have like thousands and thousands of books on here with eight so there's that as well like you don't really have to worry about like losing storage or anything like that so you can buy books on there but i would recommend either kindle unlimited or you can get the app libby which is through the library and like public library and you just use your library card to sign in and you can just rent audible books or regular library books you do i believe have to wait whereas kindle unlimited you don't have like that waiting time if like a ton of people want to read it at once like you can just get it on kindle whereas libby you do have to like wait sometimes at least that's what i've heard i don't know if they've updated it or anything like that i have not used libby but from what i know like some books like if they're extremely popular you have to wait which doesn't make sense if it's a e-reader like <laughs> wouldn't there just be like an unlimited amount i don't know anyways but you do have audible whereas kindle i think they're starting to get some audible but they don't really have a big variety of audible books on there as well so i believe they're probably starting to but the Libby app probably has a lot more options as far as that goes and there's another one it's like Hopper or something I don't know there is another like audible e-reader library type app but I forget what it's called if I figure it out I'll either leave it down in the comments or put like a picture of it somewhere here and then now on to like what's inside my kindle because I feel like I'm so nosy when it comes to like other people's books and like what's on their kindle when you open up your kindle this is kind of like what you see this is the home screen it's like says your library books that we think you'll like because of your reading history and you just oh i don't know i'll show you this as well like if you were to press on it it'll give you like the kind of overview of the book the series whatever but they just have like a ton of different things and categories for you based on your rating and then if you go to your library i have mine actually categorized whereas like if i were to open up my library without this it would just show all of the books that i own but on amazon stuff your kindle day i ended up getting a ton of books that which now I own physically, not like physically, but electronically, y you know what I mean. So now that I own those, it got confusing just having all of my books there uh, like on this screen. And so I decided to put them in categories or collections, I guess you could say. So I'll go through my Kindle Unlimited ones and then go through all of the books that I own because I have some good ones okay so kindle unlimited i'm actually gonna do this on my phone real quick just because i like looking at um colorful pictures instead of the black and white sometimes just sometimes and then i'll put up on like my screen the pictures that are on my kindle unlimited collection library i have divine rivals which is so popular right now especially on tiktok it is a young adult fantasy book which i feel like is I don't know it's like right up my alley and it's kind of like academic rivals i believe so i feel like that's like the perfect like mixture i don't know i just am so excited about that one and then i have buy a thread by lucy score and then that one is just like a rom-com one lucy score has all kinds of like adult romances which i love and then another fantasy is a kingdom of stars and shadows I don't really know too much about these but they just seem so like fun and I've just been in a fantasy era just a little bit so these are all like fantasy romances if you see any fantasies so that is why they're on there because I feel like it has to have some romance for me to like not like enjoy it but just be connected to the characters I don't know I'm just a romance to my core so it has to have like some in there for me to like continue reading so i have that one and then i have reckless which is part of the chestnut spring series if you haven't read this one 100 percent like right now put it on there if you love like cowboy romances and all of that jazz i will say it is definitely like adult adult like there's just some stuff that I personally skim over, but um, yeah, I just, I enjoy most of it. And then I have Into the Tide. I believe this is like a, either another cowboy romance or like brother's best friend or something like that, but it's another adult romance. I have The Brutal Prince, which is a mafia romance. 
And then I have What Lies Beyond the Veil, which is a, I believe, fantasy romance. <laughs> Daughter of No Worlds, which was just super, super popular on TikTok. I don't know if it is fantasy romance or just mostly fantasy with like maybe a subplot of romance, but like it's barely there. I'm not too, too sure, but I do have that one. I have Powerless, which I've actually read like 98%. I think it's just the epilogue that I'm still trying to go through. And that is also part of the Chestnut Spring series. And then I have Magic Touch, Finding You, Guild, which is a fantasy romance and so is magic touch but magic touch like involves elves where a lot of like other fantasies it's like just a regular fantasy or like they have dragons or whatever whereas like i wanted to try something different so i have that one i have serpent of the wings of night which was another extremely popular one on tiktok so i said why not i need to have it if everyone else is raving about it, I mean, <laughs> that's that. Lady of Darkness, which is also a fantasy romance. I have the second book in the Magnolia Park series. And then I have obviously Magnolia Parks as well. And I'm so sad because they don't have the last two in the Magnolia Park series, which I feel like at that point if i like the second one i'll probably end up buying the whole series and needing to finish it so there's that but i kind of wish they were all on kindle unlimited just because i don't know i like the chestnut spring series i like to read all of them and then i'll just feel so like proud to have like bought them and be like yeah i read all these now they're just like on my shelf as a collection so I don't know that's just my thought on magnolia parks i don't know why they're not on there so i also have dance of these which is a young adult fantasy romance and it's like enemies to lovers and i don't know young adult fantasy just sometimes like it hits different i also have the simple wilds by katie tucker i have this one on my physical like shelf but it was really slow for me so i downloaded it on my kindle because sometimes just reading on your kindle is just like 10 times better so i wanted to try to see if i could finish it on my kindle and i have not done that yet i also have vow of thieves which is part of the duology of dance of thieves which is the young adult romance and i i love that they're both on there i didn't even know they were on there until i was like digging through young adult books and saw that and it was after i bought the book so i was kind of sad but at least I have those and then I have Until I Get You which I believe is a hockey romance and adult hockey romance and then I have Out on a Limb because this one was going crazy and is still kind of going crazy on TikTok and like I said I have to I have to try it I have to see if it's worth it and those are all the ones that are on my Kindle Unlimited like section and then I have all the books I own which I got on Amazon stuff your Kindle day. They do have it twice a year. I believe it's like in the spring and right before fall Or maybe it's summer and then fall. I think they have one later this year, but I'm not entirely sure But these are the books that I have on the books I own and the first one I've actually read and I'm super excited to actually talk about it. it's called Cave of Terror and it's actually written by my mom and she's like starting to get into writing and this is like a psychological short story and honestly honestly it was so 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 good I was like I was thoroughly impressed I was like this is so good and like right from the get-go you're put into like the story and you're kind of like what is going on I'm scared like what is happening and it is just so good it's definitely like a better thriller that I've read it's a short story but it's still super super good and it at the end it was like I want more from this or I want like more from the author my mom and I if you're watching this i want you to write more short stories because it was just so so good and i just i was needing more from it and in like a good way not like um yeah yeah in a good way and so i would definitely recommend it is on amazon it's 99 cents and so you should definitely go check it out and then as far as like 
the other books I have. I have Southern Charmer. I got this one because it is based in Charleston, which I love. And then I have More Than Friends. I think this is just like a workplace romance. Bet on it, Escape to Eden, which is a dystopian young adult book. And it's based off of like DNA and like just crazy things of like what DNA could do. I don't really remember, but that is like one of my number one books I want to read from like this whole entire collection. Like it sounds so crazy to me. So I have that one. I have The Coven of Ruin, which is a fantasy between Ink and Shadows, which is a fantasy. Me being the Ether, which is fantasy. The Devil's Fool fantasy. After Darkness Falls, vampire fantasy. Nightfall fantasy. Golden Curse fantasy. All Last Summer, which is an adult romance, Vanishing Girls, which is a thriller, Dark Escapes, which is, I believe, just a dark romance. I don't really have too many dark romances, but I wanted to see if, like, it was something that, you know, I would enjoy. So I got that one. I have Night Elves because elves, why not? It is a fantasy, spinning out, sport romance, private property. I really don't know what this one is about, but I haven't. One More Day, which I think is just a rom-com, which you always need one of those in between the fantasy because these are a lot of fantasy. I have Queen of Roses, fantasy, and then Off by Emma Creed, which is a new, I mean, not new, but it is like another cowboy romance that I had just found, so it's new to me. <laughs> uh, but it is an adult, like, I think like dark cowboy romance if I'm not mistaken, but I wanted to try the first one and there's like five other books. So I was like, why not try the first one? See if it's something I like, but those are all of the books that I have on my Kindle and like the books that I own, which I love. But yeah, that is all that I have for my little Kindle review and all the books that I have on my Kindle. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this persuades you to get a Kindle because I absolutely love it and I think you should get one too. So yes, go buy, go buy one right now. Well, actually no, go buy one when it's on sale. Yes, go do that. And I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>